Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for August 1st, 2022. In Birmingham, their Royal Highnesses, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, along with their two children, Lady Louise Mountbatten Windsor and James the Viscount Severin, attended various sporting events during the 22nd Commonwealth Games. This morning, the Royal family attended a badminton match and the final of the women's 64 kg weightlifting competition. This evening, the Royal family attended the men's 50 meter freestyle S7 final held at the Sandwell Aquatic Center. In Gostin, Her Royal Highness Princess Benedicte of Denmark, Princess of St. Wittgenstein Berlberg, as patron, presented the I.P. Nielsen Foundation Scholarships in memory of Queen Ingrid to 12 young people during a ceremony at Gostin Slot. The I.P. Nielsen Foundation in memory of Queen Ingrid is a continuation of the earlier foundation, the I.P. Nielsen Homes for Southern Jutland Children, which aims to provide young adults and children from Southern Jutland access to camp schools or holidays. In 1971, the I.P. Nielsen Homes for Southern Jutland Children succeeded Crown Princess Ingrid's Vacation Home for Southern Jutland Children created in 1939. Today, the I.P. Nielsen Foundation provides financial support aimed at benefiting young adults and children in Southern Jutland, including the educational development of Southern Jutland school children. The foundation also provides support for projects that emphasize experiences and learning that support the Southern Jutland identity of children and young people and that develop their social skills. The I.P. Nielsen Foundation scholarships are worth 220,000 Danish kron. In Palma de Mallorca, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain and the crew of the IFOS participated in Day 1 of the 40th edition of the Copa del Rey Matfrey Sailing Cup. Prior to the race, His Majesty and his crew posed for the press on the docks of the Royal Nautic Club. In the afternoon, Their Majesties King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain, accompanied by their daughters, Her Royal Highness Princess Leonor of Asturias and Her Royal Highness Infante Sofia of Spain, visited the Cartuja de Valdemosa. Built in the early 14th century by King James II of Mallorca for his son Sancho, Cartuja de Valdemosa was initially called Palacio del Rey Sancho I of Mallorca. At the end of the 14th century, the Kingdom of Mallorca was incorporated into the Kingdom of Aragon and the palace was no longer in use. In the 15th century, the King of Aragon gave the palace to the Carthusian monks to be used as a monastery, a cloister, a pharmacy, a library, so on and so forth. In the 19th century, the Carthusian monks were removed from the Cartuja for whatever reason and it was turned into a private residence for the local nobility. Anyways, upon their arrival, the royal family were warmly welcomed by the president of the Balearic Islands, Miss Francia Armangol, the president of the Parliament of the Balearic Islands, Mr. Vincent Thomas, and the president of the Council de Mallorca, Miss Catalina Caldera, to name a few. Thereafter, the royal family were given a tour of the museum by Miss Concepcion Bauza, professor of art history at the University of the Balearic Islands. The royal family were also given a tour of the pharmacy, which is considered to be of great historical scientific value. Whilst there, the royal family viewed, quote, containers that still preserve raw materials and original medicinal preparations dating from the latter half of the 18th century, end quote. The day ended with a tour of the palace of King Sancho. Then they toured the cloister and the concert hall, signed the guest book, and finally ate delicious pastries at a local food stall. In Bangkok, Her Majesty Queen Sethada of Thailand visited the Icon Siam department store to meet with women on the occasion of Thai Women's Day 2022. Established in 2003 in honor of Queen Mother Surikit, the Queen Consort of the late His Majesty King Rama IX, Thai Women's Day is held every year on August 1st. In London, Tatler magazine published a new interview with Her Royal Highness Princess Maria Olympia of Greece on the occasion of her 26th birthday. In the interview, the princess discusses her beauty secrets, from her skincare routine to exercise to facials and specific items that she's, quote, totally obsessed with, end quote. If you're interested in learning more about Princess Maria Olympia's beauty secrets as well as tips, 
In the description box below, I will leave a direct link to the interview with Tatler Magazine. Meanwhile, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, as Supreme Commander of the Jordan Armed Forces Arab Army, attended a tactical military exercise conducted by the Central Military Region in collaboration with the Eastern Military Region's 90th King Abdullah I Mechanized Brigade. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Tuesday, August 2nd with all the latest royal news. Until then, you can visit me at my website, royalcorrespondent.com, or on Twitter. With that being said, enjoy your evening, everyone, and I wish you all a wonderful day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.